Well, good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely time wherever you are in this beautiful blue planet of ours. Um, this is Mike McWilliams, your host of Upstairs to the Right Music Channel, longtime music veteran. And tonight, tonight we're going to do story time. That's right. We're going to do story time, bedtime stories for musicians. Now, you don't have to be a musician to enjoy this story you can be just about anybody but wherever you are whatever you're doing put on your jammy jams get yourself a cup of chamomile tea or hot milk and settle in because here we go there once was a tiny country that was suffering from a long drought it had gone so long without rain that the people were starting to go hungry because of the bad harvest it just so happened that a group of musicians were traveling the country, trying to make a living from their concerts. Well, I guess that's true just about anywhere, isn't it? But with so many problems in the land, no one felt like listening to music. But music can help overcome any problems, objected the musicians, without anyone paying them the slightest attention. Well, I've been there and I've had that happen to me. Ever play to an empty room? <laughs> So the musicians tried to find out the reason it wouldn't rain. It was very strange because the sky was overcast, but no one could provide an answer. Let's see. So, oh, sorry about that. Let's center this back. So, you're not only supposed to be a musician in this place, you should also be a weather forecaster. So remember that out there if you're majoring in music, minor in weather. It's been cloudy like this for so many months, but not a single drop of rain has fallen, people would tell them. Don't worry, we'll bring rain to the country. The musicians responded, and they began rehearsing for a concert at the summit of the highest mountain. Now, first of all, you know, I hope it wasn't too high of a mountain. I hope it was a hill, or their turnout's gonna be real low, because I, even myself, I, I can't see myself climbing the tallest, highest mountain to hear a concert. I, I, no. Everyone who heard the music was seized by curiosity and went up the mountain. Now this is the part, now this is the fairy tale part. I don't believe this. I'd be like, oh, that's interesting, and I shut my windows. And the conductor of this strange orchestra gave the order, and the musicians began to play. From their instruments came small, playful, musical notes that rose and rose into the clouds. The music was so joyous, happy, and fun, and the notes started playing with the clouds' soft, fluffy bellies. <laughs> soft, fluffy bellies of clouds, okay. Running here and three, I, I think they mean running here and there. I have to watch that. <laughs> running here and there, up and down, and the whole sky turning. Wait a minute, that really does say three, right? That's just not my eyes. Okay, just as long as we're all in agreement. And the whole sky turned into one big game of tickle torture. <laughs> Never played that game. Can tickling be a torture? Depends upon what you're doing it with. Maybe a ball ping hammer wouldn't be such anyway. I don't think you, could you tickle someone with a ball ping hammer anyway? Before long, the giant clouds were thundering with laughter. So they didn't like the music. Oh, it was the tickle that made them laugh. I thought it was the music. I see. Interesting. The musicians continued playing joyfully, and a few minutes later, the clouds, crying with laughter, soaked the little country below with their precious tears, bringing happiness to all. Yeah, okay. And in memory of that musical rain, everyone in the land learned how to play an instrument and, taking turns, will go up to the mountains every day to bring joy to the clouds with their beautiful song. So, their audience was the clouds, man. That's deep. I mean, like, wow, playing for clouds. It'd be a lot more interesting audience than some of the ones I've played for. Not all of them. Some of them. 
And what a lovely story. Can't wait to see how this goes on. Wait a minute. That's it. Very interesting. So I guess the moral of this particular bedtime story is that um, if you are suffering from drought, take up a musical instrument because you can make it rain. Um, was that the moral of the story? Like the show? We'll show your support by subscribing and hitting the like button. See you later. See you later. See you later.